Okay, this video is kind of a special as, as I'm, I'm recording with this t-shirt that I used to record three years ago. So for example, when when you uh, is speaking, when, when you are speaking with, in English, uh, it is good. Yeah, speaking English uh, for beginners is, is so difficult because obviously, um, obviously, I am, uh, only begin in English. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome again. Hope you're doing pretty well. For for those who just enter in this channel and know anything about me, let me introduce myself. My name is Ruben. I'm from Colombia. I'm 25 years old. I've been learning English since I since I, since I was 23, 22. So I've been uploading videos on YouTube to track my progress and also to help other people in terms of motivation to learn the language as well. So I've never traveled uh, overseas. I've been here in my city. In, I don't have that availability of, of speaking with native here in my city, but I do use apps and platforms to be in content in contact with them. So I'm gonna talk to you about the fact that I am now uh, reaching the B2 level, I think now I'm in the B2 level, I'm in the beginning stages of the B2 and I'm planning to go ahead go ahead and with a C1 level. By that I've planned one or two years more. As you know, I love English. All the things that I do uh, are in English. Mostly I read, type, listen, everything in English and I have this channel which is actually one way that I have to create content in English I really love it because I can't be a a month without uploading a video because of case it's like a habit that I have developed over those years and I don't want to neglect that opportunity huge opportunity so I already record a video about public speaking. It's like a, a, a research that I did. So I'm going with this method. I'm recording what I've uh, researched, what I've read, in kind of preparing a, a pretty well structured speech. So, and I actually did it on my last videos I am doing Spanish version and the English version by this I want to take this to tell you the ways that I'm reaching the C1 level I've read from Luca Lampariello and from other polyglots and people who have spent their life speaking English and learning English and learning other languages as well that one thing we I'm not only has to do is looking for things that we are not comfortable with so by this you gotta read about new topics you gotta uh, listen to different ways different accents all those things in order for you to understand the hardest things in the language and also you gotta type down if you want to improve as well your writing skills you gotta speak about different topic and that's the reason why i actually decided to speak about public speaking in my previous video is i spoke about in social media and time management and i think these topics are are important real really important for everyone and it, that's why I wanted to learn about it and also boost my English by doing this. So I've always considered English as something that I do. So it's something that I really love doing. So now I know that I 
I'm getting a lot of time to do other stuff with my university, but I do stuff in English. And I'm gonna show you on my next video and how I'm doing. So, and hopefully you can have a, a grasp of that method as well, so you can use it to reach a, a higher level. Uh, on your learning languages pathways. Okay, this video is kind of a special as, as I'm, I'm recording with this t-shirt that I used to record three years ago and the change has been really kind of like you can see the level that I have now is not it's not so much like oh it's impossible but yeah it's uh, a decent advance that I am proud of it and want to share with you a short video. Today is a cold day here in my city, my city. Um, in this video, I I would like to show you um, one compilation of video. Uh, with my friends, my friends, uh, recording videos in in your city, uh, the idea is 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 to be motivated, motivated for for to learn English every day. Okay, I could like to tell you about. So, for example, when when you uh, is speaking, when when you are speaking with in English, uh, it is good. Uh, speaking English uh, for beginners is, is so difficult because obviously, um, obviously, uh, uh, only begin in English. With this, I also want to tell you that it's not about perfection. It's not about being the most Splendid, splendid speaker in English. It's just about dedication, put passion for it, put the things that you really are enjoying, and do it in, in that language, and you will see changes. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you within a couple of days, God willing. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye bye.